Wendy, many people are now talking about multiple universes. It's one of the hottest areas in theoretical physics, theoretical cosmology. I don't think you see multiple universes, unless I'm wrong. We don't see multiple universes. We're bound by the universe that we live in. We're, we're bound by the finite speed of light, the volume over which we can actually make measurements. Uh, I find it a fascinating idea. It's come out of fundamental physics. It's not just a crazy idea someone pulled out of a hat. It's, it's, it's uh, where fundamental physics has led us. It's, I think, a real possibility. But we can't test it. So in that sense, I can't tell you much more than that. We have no ability to measure other universes. Do you think if you got a bigger telescope or many telescopes? A bigger telescope <laughs> will not help this problem. We are bound. So again, light can only travel as fast as the speed of light. Do you think <laughs> Einstein told us there's a finite speed. So we can't get information beyond where we can look out to where the age of the universe and the speed of light define how far we can actually see. Can you imagine some time in human history when somebody else sitting in that chair will be able to give a different answer to that question? That they some can say. Some future Einstein will figure out how to make things go faster than speed of light. That's a, that's a tough problem. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to solve this one anytime soon. It, so it, it is a theoretical concept now, it's not something we can test. Okay, you can't see it, but everybody is is uh, hypothesizing, and it's part of the the new theories of physics. It's being built into the some of the fundamental laws of physics in, in terms of developing more and more theory. Aren't you a little bit nervous that physics is now developing theoretically when you really can't see it and have no chance of observing it? Well, there may be other ways of testing these ideas than actually seeing the universes themselves. But the theories that are giving rise to these ideas, I believe, will have testable consequences, even if they don't at present. It may take a hundred years or so, but there may be other ways of getting at tests for the current theories. Because the nature of science always has had observation and theory in an iterative process. Theory and observation, observation then corrects theory, theory then directs observation in this nice circular way that progress is made. But now you're telling me that there's this block. The speed of light blocks us from making real measurement. That makes me nervous. Well, in terms of making measurements in the distant universe, we, there's a finite volume out to which we will be able to see. But the physical laws or the theories that are giving rise to these ideas of the multiple universes may have other consequences closer to home where you could test the theory in some other way but we will not be able to see other we're not going to be able to directly look back with our telescopes and find other universes that's not the way this will happen but there have been many periods in science where theory gets ahead of observation or the other way around it takes a while to catch up till you either um, refine the theory and, and sharpen your predictions that eventually can be tested or not. It, it, there may be other ways that we'll be able to, uh, to find out whether this is correct or not, but we don't know right now. It's not measurable. <laughs>